Hey, what's up guys? Boss Act 7 here and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make station covers and rider cubbies. So let's get started. So here we have um, a few ones I've already made. So this is my one of my roller coasters, 80s. And here's a custom roof. So we're going to be learning how to make these today. And here's one more example over here. This is my coaster hazard for my new indoor theme park. And here's another design here. So. I'll show you guys today how to make these. They're real simple. Uh, so let's get started here. So we're going to be using this this uh, coaster here. So the first thing you need to do is unfreeze. Go click on the station. Go to full building. And say no roof. Okay, next after that. Freeze it. Okay. Then go to new coaster, type in roof, press OK, then go to coaster properties, style, worn type, new, press OK, go to supports, add free node, go to top view. Now you're going to want to stretch the length of the station and a little bit more every five squares. So start here, so count five, One, two, three, four, and five. And just keep going from here. Okay, now make sure on the last one and on the end, you make sure you extend the station just a little bit. So this one should be right about here. So this is every five here. Now you're going to want to define and copy this. So define copy, add paste, and you want to add two more of these. Now it really just depends on your design. If you want a flat roof like on Hades over here, you just want two of them and draw lines across. If you want one like this on hazard, you want, you want three lines. So I'll show you how to make this one right now. So go back to here, top view, line these all up to this one right here. So we're gonna move these a little bit, just like that. And this one too. Okay. These aren't quite lined up, one sec. And by the way, I have my preferences. I have snap distance on 0.5, snap angle 15, and grid size one. All right, this one needs to go over one more. There we go. All right, so let's go to front view. They're all lined up, all right, that's good. Pull them all the way up until they're above the station. There we go. Go back to perspective. You kind of verify the height that you want. All right, that looks good. I'm actually going to raise it just a little bit more. All right, there we go. Go to top view. Make sure this one's offset. Make sure it's not in the middle. I mean, it depends on what kind of design you want. It's very customizable, but I'm going to have this one. I'm, I'm going to be designing this one right now. So I'm going to move this one closer to this one here. There we go. That looks good. Go to perspective and pull it down just a tad. Just like that. All right. All right, go back to top view. Pull this over the station. Make sure it fits. Okay, it does. Pull it back. Go to add beam, support panel, Custom color, I'm just going to make it purple for now. And then you want to go to custom box beam, make horizontal beam, rotation angle zero, This make this 0.5 on both sides. Um, actually at the start make it 0.5 and then at the end make it zero. So width make it 5 and profile height make it 0.4. So this, this 5 here is important. So make sure we remember we added the start here so for this one add start from here start from these nodes and drag down I'm gonna skip every other one because I'm doing a stripe pattern there we go now for the next colors support panel change the color and then keep this the same drag it down okay and let's test that out see what it looks like Alright, that looks good. 
Alright, let's, let's finish it now. So go to top view. Supports. Add beam. Now remember it was at start, so let's start from the opposite side now. So from this node here, drag to the middle. Okay, change the color again. Back to the middle. Okay, let's test that out. All right. So now all we have to do now is just add the supports that hold up the roof. So we're gonna unfreeze it. Go to top view. Grab the whole thing. Move it over the station. Kind of lined up to where you want it. And now go to supports. Add beam node. And add a node on the inner one, on this, um, one in on both sides, and make sure they're lined up. So one in here, and let's do it right about here, and one more here. There we go. Now, directly above uh, the nodes, you wanna add a footer. So go to footers. Click one. This one we're not gonna have to because it's in the station a little bit. We can actually move this one out though. So let's move it out. Then add a footer. Just like that. All right, that's not lined up. All right, there we go. Footer here and footer here. Go back to perspective. Now we're going to add, draw the beam from here to here. So go to add beam, support panel. Go to pipe 12 or 16, depends how big your station is. I'm going to go 12 and make sure these are zeroed out. So zero and zero. Okay, let's freeze that. That looks good. Okay, now for the flat station, like Hades over here. Now, if you want to, oh, by the way, if you want to do these ends, like I did on Hazard, all you have to do is modify the ends of these. So, go to at the start and change this to, say for instance, two. And change each one to two. And skip one, change to two. Skip one, two. Skip one, two. And keep going. All right, there we go. Now when you freeze it, you should have this cool effect on the ends. All right, now if you want to do a flat roof, like uh, Hades over here, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just delete the middle and you can also do the angle supports like I did here. It's not that difficult. Um, and you have to keep in mind where the station is. So when you have the supports in here, you don't want to add footers. So I just have the support going in the station, connect to the station, so that works out. And you can add the stripes uh, different lengths. I'll show you how to do that in a second here. So for the different length stripes, you don't if you don't want them all five by fives, then uh, you, you just need to change the, the values here. So. So unfreeze, what is this tutorial? Yeah, unfreeze it. Station, what was it? okay, here we go. All right, so you just need to move. So if you want the one stripe smaller, just move each one of these nodes in one or in how, however size you want it and make sure you change this to the distance. So each one of these are five squares apart. So we have the, the, uh, the pipes or the custom box beam at five feet. So they fill in perfectly. So if they're three feet apart, we want them three feet, just like that. So, all right, so let's move on to, oh, and so for the, the flat roofs, just delete these ones and draw the nodes directly, the beams directly across and you'll get the flat, flat roofs. So let's start with the uh, cubbies for the riders. So you go to supports. I'm gonna do two kinds for you guys today. So go to your free node, front, now skip every two squares. So we're gonna do one, two, 
three, four, five, and six, just like that. Highlight the whole thing to find copy, add four more, and make sure you skip two, two, three, four. Make sure they're lined up. Let's go to top view. Okay. Now go back to perspective. Make sure it's the height that you kind of want. All right, so now let's go to add beam, support panel. Go to custom wooden beam, custom color, make it brown. Profile of, for, we're gonna do vertical beams first. So at the start, um, make that zero, and at the end, make it 0.5. And for the width, let's make it two and 0.5. Let's see if we have that right. So we have that at the end, right? So yeah, so add it, start from here, pull all the way up to the top. Oh yeah, for the end ones, <laughs> for the at the start, make it one. So for the corners, so it's, it's gonna be one by 0.5. So we're gonna add that here, just like this. And let's freeze it, make sure it's pointing the right way. It is not. So if it does that, just reverse the numbers at the top. So make this 0.5 and make this two. And then reverse these two. 0.5 and this two. There we go. All right. Now we can do the shelves now. So go to supports, add beam, support panel, zero these out. And make this uh, we'll keep the vertical beam for now. So make the make these zero. We're gonna finish the vertical beams first. So make this 0.3. So this should be 0.3 and 2. And finish these up. It really doesn't matter which way you do it, but um, they all work the same. So we fin let's make sure test these out now. All right, there we go. Now let's do the horizontal. Got a horizontal beam. Reverse these. So this should be two. Should be 0.3. And zero zero and add them across just like so there we go and when you freeze it there we go so we have our little cubbies for people to put their stuff in now these this is perfect for double stations so you can have one exit and one entrance so people can put their stuff in when they get on and then we get off on the other side they can grab their stuff and uh, this is cool for wooden coasters as well, with a good aesthetic. I'm gonna show you um, another version, which is like a tray. So unfreeze this. This is the tray version, so I'm gonna add free node. Let's go to front view. Same, same length as this. So we're gonna go one and two, that's it for now. And then go to top view. Locate where this is, skip two down, add one. Skip two down, add one, go two up, add one, and go two up, add one. Highlight the four you just you just put and page up twice. Just like that. Actually one should be fine. Okay. Now you should have these two in the middle a little bit lower. And they should all be lined up. Go to add beam, support panel, custom color. Let's make this gray. Go down to custom box beam. Uh, horizontal beam profile width should be four. Profile height, 0 0.2, zero, and zero. Let's add this from middle to here and freeze it. All right, there we go. Unfreeze it. Go to add beam, support panel. We're gonna do the side walls now. So we're gonna make this point, point 0.2 should be fine and height should be one. 0.2 and 1, 0 and 0. Add them from here all the way around. There we go, freeze that. Okay, that looks good. Now copy these nodes here. Define copy. And add one more here. Let's go to top view actually, all right. Drag them directly above and go to perspective and drag them down until they hit your station that you're building on or the ground doesn't matter there we go you can always adjust the height later you go to add beam support panel custom color
custom box beam. Let's make it 0.3 by 0.3. And make sure at the end it is 0.6. So it overlaps the walls here just a tiny bit. Start from here on all of them. Drag to here, drag to here, to here, and from here to here. All right, let's freeze that. All right, there we go. We have a little tray. Let's go to unfreeze, supports, add to find paste, top view. Highlight it and drag it right above again. Go to perspective and lower it just a tiny bit. There we go. That should be fun. Go to add beam, support panel, custom color. Go to L beam, three by three and make this 0.2 and 0.2. Make sure you zero this out. So this should be zero and it's horizontal and just add them across just like this. And this is too small. Make sure this is 0.2, not 0 0.2 or 0 0.02. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna delete these. All right, that's better. So add the, add the rest now, add 0 0.2, 0 0.2, Let's test that out. Okay. Now you could leave it like this or you could do a little bit more with it. So unfreeze it, go to supports, add to find paste, add two more, one, two. Drag, drag the first one above, above the one you've built. And page up just a tiny bit, just like that. Go to the next one, go to top, drag it above. There we go, perspective, and page up. There we go. And go to add beam, support panel, go to Custom box beam and 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 and 0. Add from this one to this one. There we go. And then support panel and make this point, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. There we go. Close that out. And then add across around this way. Actually, those are wrong. So for this one, you want to go back to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0.2. All right, there we go. Now we add these ones and then you add the 0.15s, 0 0.15. All right, then go up, across, down, across, down, down, across, down, and then go to your preferences, make this 0 0.25, press OK. And let's lower this a little bit, page down, and lower this one twice. There we go. What, what happened there? All right, let me fix that. Okay, let's freeze that, see what it looks like. All right, so now you have a little tray with a little barrier around it. And all you have to do from here, which is really easy, since you have this separated, let's go to your, um, your coaster, you can freeze that. Okay, then all you have to do is copy and paste this. So go to roof. This is our file with all this stuff in it. So unfreeze, you can copy and paste this. Supports to find copy. So you can add two or three of them. Let's go to top view. Let's rotate it. So it lines up just like that. And let's drag it into place in the station, just like so. Let's get the height right, so page up. Let's throw this down a little bit. So yeah, so once you get in the station, you can just lower it and do whatever you want with it. Um, we just want to build it first. All right, there we go. All right, let's freeze it. All right, there we go. We have a little tray here. Hey guys, here's the final product in play mode. So we have the uh, coaster cubbies here. I think those turned out pretty well. And the simple station cover. Uh, here pretty soon I'll be doing a full, a full station tutorial. So with interior and operator booths and everything. So stay tuned for that. 
and also we have the tray over here oh lag <laughs> we have the tray over here so that turned out pretty cool um like i said the top part here is optional uh if you guys don't like the look of it that's fine you can just take it off and the color is all optional as well and one more thing if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how to make these signs here this is um a coach from my indoor park that's coming out here pretty soon and more cue lines make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you guys would want to see that and also i have started a new thread on no limits forms it's called support scenery and more so i'll be posting all my content there and so you guys can ask questions and all kinds of stuff so yeah hope you guys like the video and uh stay tuned for more and yeah so, so make sure to subscribe and like